All right. So I always wanted to be famous, and I invented this series, the Hazenachi sequence. Uh, the first number is four, the second number is 10, and then every subsequent term is found by adding the two previous terms, but subtracting one. So to get the next term, you do four plus 10, and then subtract one, you get 13. Here we go. To get the next one, you do 10 plus 13, subtract one, you get 22, and so on. So the first 10 terms are this. My test code up here will print the first 10 terms, and it should print out these numbers right here. And I gave you this line uh, just so that the test code would compile. Not that it totally matters. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first term is 4, so we can say if n is 1, we're going to return 4. And the second term is 10. We have to put those in. We have to hard code them. You can't just get whatever you want. Uh, I mean, it's not going to come out of nowhere. And the first two terms are 4 and 10. And then after that, we can start adding the previous two terms and subtracting 1. So then now those are the base cases. And we know now if we got to the next line that it's not uh, 4 and it's not 10 or it's not, sorry, it's not 1 or 2. So now we do return Hazenachi n minus 1 plus Hazenachi n minus 2. That, that's the previous two terms added together. And when we run, we should get all the way up 4 to 370. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot to subtract one. Remember, it's uh, each subsequent term is found by adding the two previous terms and subtracting one. So I got all high and mighty, but there you go. We all make mistakes, but that's why you check your answers. Make sure you get the correct answer. So we get 4, 10, 13, dot, 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 all the way up to 370. All right. Once you get the hang of it, these things aren't too hard.